Hi, my name is Dr. Brett Perkison, and I am in the Department of Health Promotions and Occupational Environmental Medicine. And the topic of presentation today is utilizing intervention mapping to develop the Sustainable Culturally Adapted Nutrition Program, or SCAN, to improve participant attendance in diabetes prevention programs. As this poster illustrates, the purpose of our research is to design an intervention that will increase attendance rates in diabetes prevention programs. One of the approaches that we decided to tackle on this was to design a nutrition program that not only educated participants about nutrition, but taught them cooking techniques that would enable them to have the confidence to prepare healthy food. Not only that, but we also wanted to tap in what their cultural backgrounds were uh, in order to give them confidence that the foods that they traditionally grew up eating uh, could be changed uh, in terms of the recipe to, to be healthier. Based on this, we designed four nutrition programs that were spaced out during the first six months of the 12 month long diabetes prevention programs. These programs each cover different aspects of cooking, basic cooking techniques, including sauteing, cutting techniques, easy ways to prepare foods that were tasty, that you had involve uh, healthy vegetables. We taught these in a virtual format, partially because we were in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, but also because we wanted to try this format as a way for busy people that were working um, to be able to dial in in the evening and attend these sessions. As you can see, uh, our, it was a, this was a pilot project, a prospective case control study, and we had our control group uh, was two classes, one in English and one in Spanish, and the intervention group also one English class and one Spanish class. The timeline that you can see below shows the position by month where we place these scan programs. The, the idea being is that these education programs would reinforce the existing diabetes prevention programs and naturally fit in with some of the classes that were being taught on nutrition. We've now completed at this stage in the research with, uh, with our four scan programs and the diabetes prevention programs that the patients were enrolled in are still ongoing and have another six months uh, to go. But you can see from table one, the basic demographic characteristics of the control group versus the intervention group, both groups being very diverse uh, in terms of, of ethnicity uh, and, and eating, eating patterns. From table two, you can see the results, uh, some preliminary results of what we obtained. You can see that the control group um, had a mean uh, attendance rate of 6.5 sessions during that six month period. By contrast, when you look at our participants in the intervention group, those people within the class that had zero sessions had a lower attendance rate of 4.5, whereas those that attended the at least one scan session had a much higher attendance rate of nine sessions over the six month period. This is a very encouraging uh, result in this study, um, suggesting that this presence of scan classes in those individuals that are interested in attending at least one can indeed reinforce uh, attendance sessions. And the reason this is important is that studies have shown is that the more sessions that one attends, the higher success rate uh, one has in preventing these participants going on to develop diabetes. This could be a very significant finding and that the incorporation of this additional nutrition session cooking could result in a much more successful DPP class. Uh, lastly, in figure two, you can see on the scatter plot, plot, plot diagram, what we've, we've categorized uh, sessions by different uh, rates of attendance sessions. And you can see in terms of weight, weight loss that they have all comparable uh, percent weight loss over that period of time which is really what we would want, want to do. We want not want one to have a precipitous weight loss, but want them all to have gradual decrease. As we wait in subsequent studies, we can find at 12 months, if these weight losses were more sustainable uh, than, than the control group, 
and in terms of weight and then in terms of attendance sections. I thank you so much for your time and please feel free to uh, ask us questions virtually. We'll be glad to answer them. Thank you for your time.